So this is our mattress and it is like a rock. It's a little bit softer than the ground, but not much. We tried to sleep here all night long and we woke up tireder than we what we went to bed. So that's why we slept on the couch. Our bed was so uncomfortable that the very second night that we slept in our RV, we slept on our pull-out couch. And it was even more comfortable than the bed. So, to alleviate the cost of getting a full-size mattress, Queen RV short, we decided to do this. The package on the right is a mattress topper and the package on the left is a mattress pad which has some amount like two inches of filling so hopefully this will make our nighttime sleeping much more enjoyable and restful we got the linen spa three inch gel memory foam mattress topper so we're unrolling the new mattress pad well this is what it looks like when it's first laid out um they say that it needs about 48 hours to fully expand so when it's gotten to that point we'll show it to you again um, looks like some of it has already started to expand a little bit. And that looks much, much better. So, it's just a matter of letting it go and hopefully we'll end up with something that actually fits the mattress. I think it will. All the reviews and everything I saw show that it does... So it's only been a few moments and already we are seeing um, expansion. A little bit at the end here still has to expand and up there in the corner. That's Sherry's side of the bed. So if it doesn't expand all the way, I don't care. <laughs> no, I do care. But so far, so good. So just a, another few minutes, maybe about 10 minutes or so, and it's looking like it's almost all the way expanded. There's a little bit here at the edge. There's still a little bit up here at the corner. As you can see, it's just kind of not fully expanded, but it's grown to the full length of the bed. Um, it is a short queen size, so it was specifically for this uh, size mattress. And it's looking really, really good. We got a mattress pad that we're going to put on this too. I don't think we're going to do that tonight. Um, simply because we just want to give this guy time enough to fully expand and uh, um, grow to full size before we do that. Well, the mattress topper looks like it's nearly fully extended. It has not been more than 15, 20 minutes. Looks like there's just a little bit right there. Um, and a little bit back there in the corner where it kind of turns down a little bit. Um, not sure if it's because it's cooler back here. It is out towards the outer edge of the window. Yeah, it's definitely not fully expanded here. But uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. And it's got that, that nice... Uh, enveloping foam it's a gel uh, foam and then we got a two inch mattress topper mattress pad to go on top of that to kind of give it a, a pillow top um, the price for everything was right about a hundred and I think seventy dollars tax included so bought it on Amazon uh, and so far so good. We're gonna try it out. 
so it's only been about maybe 30 minutes or so and, and this thing is like fully expanded so we're just gonna go ahead and put the, the mattress topper on so here we go it's a zipper Sure, you want to do it? I can get the straps underneath. You have to lift the whole side up. It's got straps. No, no, no. I'm getting there. Oh. Do it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because you gotta lift the whole side of the mattress up. This is one big stiff board. This mattress. So Mike's gotta lift that whole mattress up with the topper or the mattress uh, topper and with the little strap is hooking it underneath both the mattress topper, the mattress pad and the mattress. Mm. Last corner. There it is. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> that is so much better. How much better is it? Let's just say... I can lay flat on my back and it doesn't feel like I'm laying on something flat. It's forming to my body. Cool. Nice. So I like that. Now you may wonder why we got the mattress pad as well as the mattress topper. The mattress pad, the mattress topper is it's a gel like foam and the reviews told us that the people that don't like it because it makes them really really warm and the mattress pad will help alleviate that retention of heat from your body so that's why you got the pad too 
and plus it adds about two inches of thickness to the uh, mattress and gives it like a pillow top feel and it definitely feels like a pillow top maybe not like one of those thousand dollar mattresses that you buy in the big box stores but this one for you know the hundred and sixty hundred seventy dollars that we paid um, is I think it's gonna be definitely worth it for the good night's sleep now Sherry gets to try it oh this feels so good much better than the rock <laughs> definitely a good investment for a short term trial I guess you can call it um, we're hoping that this is going to last us two three maybe four years before we actually have to replace the mattress underneath the original mattress which is hard as a rock so I'm very pleased with this. Mike made a very good choice. And so now we're going to put the bed together and this coming weekend, well, next weekend actually, we'll be taking it out to Prophetstown, Indiana and we'll be doing some camping that weekend. Yep. So this is the finished bed and it looks poofy. So it looks really, really nice. Uh, at least to us. Looks better than the bed in our house. <laughs> Which is just a mass of blankets and pillows. But anyway, um, this is what we finally ended up with. Hey everybody. Um, just wanted to update you on the bed. We have now had a full weekend in Prophetstown, two nights. So this is a two night review of what we did. Um, we put on, as you remember, a mattress pad and a mattress topper. The pad is, I believe a three inch pad, or no, I'm sorry, the topper is three inches of uh, gel foam. It's a hybrid, I guess, and then a mattress pad which is like a pillow top um i would have to say that compared to the first night and i say that with a lot of emphasis um because the second night we <clears throat> slept here on our fold out couch bed um, it was much more comfortable out here than it was on our bed the first night so that's why we slept here and well the verdict is in. We did sleep both nights in the bed with the mattress pad and topper. So comfort wise, it was still firm, but it didn't have that ground, solid ground feel like we were the first night. So it was much better sleeping uh, for that night. We, I, I kind of say that it was a worthwhile investment um, I am going to include links in the description down below of the two items that we purchased so that you can at least if you're interested in upgrading your RV mattress but you don't want to pay for a new brand new RV mattress which right now we're running for depending on how thick it is and what type of material it's made of can run anywhere from three four five upwards of two of a thousand dollars for just an RV queen not even sure what that would be for a king. Um, our total expenditure was about $158, I believe is the price. Um, I'll include that somewhere in the video, uh, the exact price that we paid. Um, we did use uh, credit card uh, reward points for that. So we ended up spending like $32. So that's why we did it. What do you think? I thought it was really good. It was really soft compared to the mattress that came with the RV, which was harder than a rock. Um, I think a rock would have been softer than that bed, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, it gave us a chance to sleep out here on our pullout couch, which is very comfortable. And once we put the mattress um, and the topper, the, or the new foam pad and the topper on the bed, it was so much more comfortable. I was able to sleep 
with very little discomfort. I'm, I'm a side sleeper, so I like to sleep on my left side or my right side. And after a while, my hips did feel a little discomfort. But overall, the first night was wonderful. The second night is when I really felt the, the slight discomfort sleeping on my side. But other than that, I would highly recommend getting that topper and um, the gel pad, like the, the mattress topper. I guess that does it for uh, this video. So we thanks for uh, joining us. And if you like what you see here, please <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe. Subscription costs you nothing, but it really helps us out with the uh, YouTube algorithms. And um, it puts a positive note on what we're doing. And we would love to uh, have you subscribe to us. So if you like us, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit the bell for notification for when we put out new video. Yeah, it's real important for the subscribe for uh, for our YouTube channel. Um, that help uh, that helps us stay motivated to put up more videos for you guys. We have several trips planned this year, which we are going to do as much documentation as possible. Um, we are still at this point planning on going to Utah um, and then onwards out to the West Coast. Uh, we'll reveal that in a future video. Um, what else are we going to? We're going. We're going back to France Park. Yay! Yes. We're gonna. We're gonna have some more video on France Park and what's to do around there. Um, and if our friends Chris and Liz are up to it, yeah. we're hoping to get a little blurb with them because we are gonna meet up for dinner and just kind of catch up for for this last year that we haven't seen them. But we do keep in touch. Um, as best as we all can because everybody's busy so we are looking forward to seeing them yeah and we're going to be heading to a nexus rally um not a nexus actually yeah it is a nexus rally i guess um slash meetup slash meetup um uh, right now there's 25 uh individuals that are going our rvs that are going so more than individuals than rvs i'm sure um and we're looking to meet new people make new friends, ex expand our RV family, um, because up until now, all the places that we have gone camping, people are pretty much in their own little world and it's understandable. They have their kids, they have their parents, they have, you know, friends with them or they're camping next to friends. We get it. People are comfortable with their families and with their friends and we haven't met too many people and those of those people who have we that we've met camping have been wonderful people um we talk to a lot of people when we're walking the girls um but other than that it's just people that we haven't really kept in touch with until we met chris and liz and um we're just excited that we met some really nice people and with them and they gave us a recommendation to go to France Park. So at the Nexus Meetup Rally, we're hoping to make new friends and keep in touch with them and maybe do some camping with them. Maybe not this year, but hopefully next year. Well, I guess that's about it. So what's our saying? Until next time. Ride, ride the, wave. the wave. Bye. Bye. <laughs>